Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Corey and Rhonda with Utah Dream Properties and Keller Williams. Today we're gonna to talk to you about taxes. Everybody just received their property taxes and a lot of them have increased. So we're gonna to talk to you about that. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Okay, so today we wanna to talk about the notice you just received in the mail. And just to clarify a little bit, these are proposed tax increases. So Correct. not for sure, but anytime that I've seen a proposed, it usually goes up. And just remember once they go up, they're probably not gonna come back down, right? So if What's you- What's the magic date? Well, it depends. Okay. So I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Right. Okay, so if you just received your notice, um, like most of us, it went up, like dramatically. I've got one property, $1,600 a year. Other properties between $450 and $600 a year. So that is going to affect your payment. So remember that. A lot of times when we buy houses, we say, oh, I'm going to fix rate, a fixed mm -hmm. payment. Your, your principal's fixed, but your taxes and insurance aren't. So that's how your payment can increase. So, But I have a Davis County and a Weber County. So if you look at those, on the back of the Weber County and on the very top of the Davis County, it tells you how to appeal these taxes. So that's super important because I think a lot of people get these. They get mad. They might throw them on the table and kind sure. of, you know, be mad about it, but just kind of say, oh, well, I guess it is what it is. But there is a process mm -hmm. that we can do to help you fight that. Yes, because right? I've looked at four so far and three of them are definitely appealable. Um, one of them really is accurate. The property did go up that much. Um, so it's based on the property value as of January 1st of this year. So we wouldn't do run regular comps like we would if we were gonna list your house today. We would have to go back in time and say, okay, in January, what was your house worth? What was the taxable value? So on the appeal, um, especially, I'm looking at the Weber County form. If you purchased your property in the last two years and it doesn't coincide with what your property tax, the proposed increase value matches up, all you need to do is fill out the form attach your closing statement to it and upload it on the website and again that's on the back of the weaver county form so it just tells you how to do that so i again i think it's super important that we sit down and look at this because some of these increases are pretty dramatic well, and they that, can save you you know hundreds of dollars per year at mm -hmm. least you know so yeah it's, it's a big, big deal. deal especially if it's not accurate you know and that's that's where we come in so if you're watching this video, um, if you live in Davis or Weber County, these are the only two I've seen so far, but of course we're happy to help you with anywhere in, in Utah, Correct. really. So feel free to reach out to us because we really do want to help you with this and we think it's an important thing um, to look at and to watch your finances for sure. And this is going to drastically affect a lot of people. Today we talked about taxes and the proposed increases in the taxes and how to fight those. So please contact us. So you can contact us any way you want to. You can text us, call us, email us, whatever you need to do. We're here for you. We're here to help. Bree is hard at work putting these videos out every Friday. We want to hear from you on what you guys want us to talk about. So please let us know. Ask us questions. Also, like and subscribe. That helps us out and it gets the word out there even more to more people.